electric violins, passive or acoustic, um, generally do need a preamp. And, and here's the deal with any PA system. There are a half a dozen gain stages between your instrument and the listener's ear. So when your violin uh, sends its signal out, that is a high impedance signal coming out of the violin. We'll generally come out of that with a, uh, with a cable, and I'm going to grab a violin. So you're going to come out of the violin with a quarter-inch cable. And that cable is either going to go to a wireless or it's going to go to a preamp in most cases. And um, <clears throat> this is a bridge. This is actually an active violin, which does have a, uh, a very small preamp on board. But the, you're still going to need to transform that high impedance signal into something that your soundboard can use. Generally, plugging a high impedance instrument into a soundboard just is not going to result in, in a good situation. So what that's going to do is, is it's just going to leave you a really weak or a scratchy signal. And when your sound man tries to boost that signal, he's going to be able to get you louder. But the signal to noise ratio is not changed. So you've got a certain amount of signal coming out of the violin, and then with any signal, there's a certain amount of noise in that signal. What the preamp is designed to do is to boost your signal without boosting the noise along with it. So if you are trying to plug your violin into just a soundboard without a preamp, uh, you're probably going to end up with, with a lot of real scratchy sound or something sort of thin and weak. So uh, we do recommend using a preamp between your violin and um, in the soundboard because the soundboard does in fact have a preamp in it but it's a uh, it's a low Z preamp. Um, most of the amps that you use, I'll point you to this Fisherman Loudbox Mini here, um, this is what we use for demos and stuff in the shop. That does have a preamp in it and that does allow you to plug a high Z um, connection into that and uh, so if you're going to use that amp and then the output on that amp or a mic on that amp, um, that does take the place of a preamp. You can still use another preamp if you want to color the signal some. And uh, we do have several choices on that. We've got uh, the LR Bags Paracoustic DI and the LR Bags Venue DI that we like a whole lot. I did a video on those and you can find that either on our Facebook page or on YouTube. And uh, there are a variety of, of other preamps uh, that you can use. Uh, that we like probably my two favorites are the paracoustic and the venue DI's. And that's just sort of a uh, a quick primer on uh, on preamps. So the bottom line is generally your electric violin de does need to be preamped if you're going straight into a sound system. If you're running into an amplifier, then the amplifier will generally have an onboard preamp itself. But because um, outboard preamps do color your sound a little bit, sometimes that's going to work really well for you to have an outboard preamp and then go into your amplifier.